Take your star. Next. Take your star. Next. Take your star. Next. Take your star. You shouldn't be here. I've come for my star. They're for Jews. You don't have a J on your identity card. You could get it for me. If we all wear them, they wouldn't know the difference between a Gentile and a Jew. Go home, please. Go home. I will wear my star, and I won't take it off until God tells me to take it off. The God of Abraham and Isaac, and my God, too. Who's the leader? Jan will be the leader. Harry, quick, turn around. Good morning. Isn't it Mr. Baum? Children, stop here. The watchmaker shop. Ten Boom, where's the Jurestraat? Yeah. You came for our radio. I wrote to my father. I told him about your shop. Who are those boys? Why are they being allowed to torment that man? They are young Dutch patriots. He was heard to make public statements derogatory to the Reich and our Führer. They are expressing their indignation. Patriots. Who are these children? I teach a class. I tell them about God. At least I used to. This will be the last one. Thanks to your new directive concerning unauthorized meetings. Mr. Boom, the measures are temporary. Once all this is over, when order has been restored, then all the Aryan peoples will live together as brothers in our Reich. Men live together as brothers, only in the kingdom of our Lord, nowhere else. May we go. Come. Some cookies. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Frank comes running for the cookies. <laughs> Lisa? Ah. Carol? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Cookies. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> cookies? I, I may not be able to be with you for a while. Ah. But Jesus will still be there. Always watching over you. You see, without Jesus, we are like this, empty. We can do nothing. But when Jesus fills us with his love, then we are full. We can do anything. We can do anything. Nothing serious, Pastor. A little bit dirt, maybe. It's been losing five seconds a day. Maybe a good cleaning. Mm, fine. You can do it now. While I'm here, it really would be most helpful. Yeah. Good. I'll go up and have a chat with your papa. I hear he's been wearing a Jewish star. It's 
Stubbornness is the child of pride, and pride is the first of the seven deadly sins. I'll speak to him about it. So I need to be back at the church by 1.30. It will be ready. Dr. Heemstra. Mr. Bull, you can only stay for a moment. milk for him, not soup. Good Lord, you don't intend to keep it. But you can't. It's illegal. You could all be arrested. He's beautiful. <laughs> Pastor. The Lord must have sent you here. You live in the country. Nothing could be safer. It's impossible. I, I, I have my own family to think of. We could lose everything for that child. Where would my church be without a shepherd? Oh, but... No, Betsy. The pastor has decided it is the law. And Christians must obey the law. Think what you are risking for the sake of one Jewish baby. And will you report us, Pastor, if the baby must stay a while with us? Corey, we are meant to obey the law of this state if it does not go against a higher law of God. Pastor, you want me to take off my star. Very well. I will not wear it. And we will keep the child. As a Christian, I am sorry when any man must suffer. No matter who he is. What his race. But remember, it is the Jews who gave us the Bible and our savior. It is on your heads. I'll pick up my watch tomorrow. Good day, Tenbom. Ladies. God forgive him. He did not mean it. How can that man call himself a Christian? If a mouse lives in the cookie jar, that doesn't necessarily make him a cookie. <laughs> 